Hi, I'm Bill, and you're watching the Astro Vagabond channel. Well, today is October 17th, 2022, and I thought it was about time that I'd give you an update on uh, where I'm at and various things. Uh, the highlight of today was receiving something from the postman, and this is the uh, ASI Air Plus. Uh, so I'm excited about that. Uh, I am getting ready uh, to travel this Saturday down to uh, Goat Mountain Astronomical Society Research Station down in Landers. And then on the 26th, I'll be uh, moving over to Borrego Springs for Nightfall 2022. It's a big event that's held uh, each year uh, and there should be a hundred plus uh, astronomers and astrophotographers. It's a fantastic event. I'll be down there for four nights, I believe, and it should be a lot of fun. Uh, again, you know, it's been a long-term goal of my uh, channel to do some interviews, and maybe I'm far enough along now where I can maybe get a few of those uh, uh, done uh, on this trip uh, down to nightfall. So I wanted to give you a couple updates. Uh, you know, one is the um, ASI Air. And just real quickly, I don't really do unboxing videos, but um, for those of you that may not be familiar, uh, here it is. Got an antenna for the wireless. DC 12 volt output ports. Got a uh, PC connector, I guess uh, here for a uh, memory card. And then ethernet connection and uh, some USB ports. Now, I'm not being critical of this device. I'm being critical of, of me in a sense of not doing my homework to understand that this will not drive a dew heater. So I just mentioned that if that is important to you, then you're going to need to figure out a, another solution. Um, and uh, again, I'll, I'll figure that out. But initially I came to that realization uh, about a week ago and I haven't taken any steps uh, to find a solution. So if you're using something for your dew heater control, uh, please let me know, put it in the comments, and then I can check that out. Uh, most places where I image in the time of year that I image, uh, since I'm mobile and I'm generally down in the Southern California desert in the wintertime, uh, I don't do a lot of imaging for my backyard yet. Um, dew is not an issue for me. Even up in Blue Canyon Airport uh, during the summer months, I did not encounter any uh, dew conditions. So, you know, I don't think it's a big deal for me per se right now, uh, but I just wanted to call that out. I'm not saying it's a deficiency of the solution. Uh, they're very clear if you read the material, which I did not, uh, that it does not support a dew heater. Uh, so it really doesn't diminish its value in my mind. It's a great solution for $299. And I'm very excited. I got my, I got my tablet here. I've got my phone, and uh, over the next few days, I'll start to get familiar with the uh, uh, software on the ASI Air uh, Plus and uh, try and get it ready uh, so I can use it with my Xenostar Z61. Because uh, as you may recall, I was using my Pegasus Astro Pocket Power Box Advance in my Z61 uh, configuration, and I've subsequently moved it over to uh, my uh, Edge 8 HD. So um, look forward for some content on, uh, on this device. I'm very excited that I have it. Thank you to all the viewers who uh, were, were encouraging me to uh, go in this direction. I'm glad I got an opportunity uh, to go in this direction and I'm sure it's going to be a fine solution for my uh, Xenostar uh, Z61. Uh, just a little update on my Edge 8 HD. Uh, I've made considerable amount of progress. I'm about a millimeter, millimeter and a half off on my 
uh, back focus. Um, so I'm switching between two different uh, spacers to try to see which one is optimal. So that's going pretty good. I was surprised how easy it was to work with the OAG and, um, and kind of get that dialed in. I've got a little bit more work uh, on uh, distance of the guide scope to get the right back focus there in a sense. Uh, but, uh, you know, very positive experience. And, uh, you know, I've got my uh, electronic focuser on there. Right now I'm using the reducer and I'm gonna work with the reducer for a while before I go native to get the full uh, 2032 millimeter uh, uh, focal length. Um, as you can see here, I've got my top rail installed. I've got my B-Link U59 mini computer. I've got my Pegasus Astro Pocket Power Box Advance, which is feeding the power to uh, the uh, B-Link. So that, that's working out very well. I have a little um, USB drive that I'm using uh, to copy data um, using RoboCopy and Nina onto a, a second drive so I can easily transport that to uh, my laptop where I run uh, PixInsight and um, that's working out very, very well. So I still have to install my uh, dew heater on my uh, Edge HD, uh, pretty straightforward to do. I'm just waiting for a night here in San Mateo where hopefully if I pull my mount out and get everything rigged up, I can also collect some data. We've been having a lot of uh, cloud cover, marine layer, this time of year, which is uh, not that unusual. So overall, I think I'm in pretty good shape for my trip come this Saturday. Uh, if I don't get everything done here, I will get it done in Landers. It's supposed to be clear uh, both nights. Um, and uh, as we get later uh, into the year, our uh, nights get longer, so we get more imaging time. So uh, I'm, I'm very excited about getting going. Now, it'll probably be fun running two mounts, um, but you know, why not if you got them and two telescopes, why not do it? So I think those are uh, kind of the major things uh, as far as an update here, uh, as of October 17th, 2022. I'm very excited. I'm looking forward to uh, galaxies uh, with this Edge 8 uh, HD and um, very excited about getting the uh, ASI Air Plus up and running and uh, learning what that is all about and then sharing some of my experience around the ASI Air with those of you who may not already be ASI Air owners. So Again, I generally uh, don't make recommendations. What I try to do is just share my experiences and then allow you to ask questions through the comments. I'll answer those questions, but uh, I don't think so far that I've basically recommended any equipment. Uh, I just share my experiences, what it's like to learn how to use it, and uh, let you, the viewer, uh, make your own decisions about what's appropriate for you based upon your needs and your uh, circumstances. So, okay, uh, just wanted to give you an update. Uh, next time uh, you probably see something from me would be uh, uh, Saturday or Sunday uh, towards the end of the week. And uh, I'll be in the field and have uh, everything up and running and start to share uh, some of that information with you. Other than that, uh, if you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up. As always, a like, share, and subscribe uh, wherever you may be in the world. Uh, hopefully you're getting some clear skies. And uh, other than that, till next time.